In the previous video, we set up the energy and viscous models, created our fluid material, and set up our boundary conditions. In this video, we will choose our solver options, set our convergence criteria, create a report plot of outlet temperature, initialize our solution, and begin the calculations. We'll begin where we left off in the last video. Switch to the Solution tab. Under Methods, we can see the various discretization schemes used in the model. For this demonstration, we will switch to the simple scheme. Switch to controls. Here we can see the under relaxation factors. Again, we'll use the defaults. If your models are unstable, you can manipulate these relaxation factors to help control it. Click on residuals. We can see the equations that are being solved and monitored. The continuity, momentum, and energy equations, as well as our two turbulence equations. They're being checked for convergence against these absolute criteria on the right. These are just the defaults, 10 to the negative third, for all except the energy equation, which is 10 to the negative sixth. By checking for convergence, if all these variables reach their criteria, the case will stop running. But just because our variables here reach convergence does not mean that all the flow variables have stopped changing. That's why it's generally a, a good idea to monitor other flow properties as well. We'll set up a surface monitor for the outlet temperature. Click on Definitions, New, Surface Report, and Mass Weighted Average. Let's first give it a name. We'll use outlet underscore temp. And we'll use temperature from the field variable list. Choose outlet from the surfaces, and finally click Report Plot so we can see it during calculation. We'll check to see that this value is unchanging when we approach convergence. Next, we'll initialize our solution. There are two options, hybrid and standard. For the hybrid initialization, Fluent considers geometry, boundary conditions, and material properties. It will automatically set up an initial solution. The alternative is a standard initialization, where you can set all the initial variables yourself. You can also compute variables from any of the boundaries. Let's do a hybrid initialization. Click Initialize. Enter 1000 for the number of calculation iterations. Remember that if all our convergence criteria are met, the calculation will stop regardless of the iteration number. It's always a good idea to save your case file before hitting Calculate. Navigate to File, Write, and Case. The default name is that of the geometry and meshing. Finally, click Calculate. Here we see a report plot for the mass weighted average temperature of the outlet. We can see the initial temperature from the hybrid initialization here. We can monitor this plot during the calculation to watch for the steady state solution. We can switch to residuals to see what they look like during the run as well. This concludes part two of the solver setup for a Y duct. In the next section, we will analyze the results of our calculations. Thank you for watching.